Well, hello, welcome to the channel. This week's project is going to be a tough one. And without further ado, welcome to our 100 year old crawl space. If you've ever been interested in buying a farmhouse or buying an older fixer upper, this will be a good video for you to watch. Um, this project is going to involve leveling our uh, house out, leveling the floor joists out so we can move forward with future projects involving the kitchen and a couple other areas inside the house. So if you notice this laser beam across my face, that's one tool we're going to use to make it a lot easier and faster to level this house out. Now let's crawl to this crawl space and we'll go over this project in more detail. We bought this place in 2017, and when we purchased it, we were told it was built in 1947. However, after we had moved in, we had some county, longtime county residents come in and tell us that the home was actually moved here um, in 1947, and there are parts of the home that are almost 100 years old. Yeah, the uh, front side of the house, our house is kind of like three boxes. So you have a front box, middle box, and a rear box. So the front house was actually a shotgun farmhouse that was moved here from the back pasture and they moved it here in 47 for utility access on the road when the power and utilities came came through our road. So it's a lot cheap. I guess it was cheaper back then to move the little house on a new foundation than it was to run power and water you know, that far back. So that's why we're doing our project today. Luckily the foundation that they did when they moved it is still structurally sound. It hasn't you know, um, flexed or cracked or dipped or sagged or anything like that. The only problem we have in this house is the center of the floors. They weren't, uh, I guess, correctly supported you know, mm -hmm. through the spans because they're 16 foot spans. So a lot of the, um, you know, there was one room or one part of the house that had a 16 foot span with a floor joist with no support at all underneath it. So I drew up a little board to make this project look. <laughs> <laughs> so right here you can see this is the original part of the house, this red square. Um, this brown, these two brown squares are additions. These were done in the 70s. So this shotgun farmhouse right here was moved here in 47 and they did a new foundation like so where the red lines are. And then here's the floor joist running this way. And this beam right here is the one that needs to be replaced. It is actually a two by four. As you'll see in the video, it's a horizontal two by four that has no structural support. So that's getting knocked out and we're actually bringing in a new beam and replacing this one right here on this side of the house. The middle section of the house that was built also has a 16 foot span on the floor joists. And this beam right here, luckily, is uh, a two by eight, a sister two by eight. So it's two two by eights running uh, the whole length of the house. And it is actually, Let's see, it has a support every eight feet in it. So what we're gonna do on this beam is bring in new supports and run them every four feet. So now every four feet, we'll have a foundation support for that load bearing beam. And then we will actually jack it up as needed with bottle jacks and get it level and then shim it out. So that is the project that we are doing today or next couple days. <laughs> We have to get this done before we can do any major renovations in the kitchen just so that yeah. we have a good foundation and base to start with. Yeah, so we've been wanting to do this for a while. We're about to renovate the kitchen and do a couple of other things and take out some walls and open it up. So this is one thing that we have to start with and we have to get done. Hopefully we'll get it done within a week and um, you guys enjoy and let's get back under there and get after it, right? Let's, let's get back. Yes, let's. You have a friend coming over to help you, right? Yeah, I'm going to call it, buddy. Cool. Yeah, all right. All right, cool. Uh, I know this is going to be hard to get a good view done here, but I wanted to give you guys a close up and show you what we're doing. Um, this beam in the center of our house had a support every eight feet with a footing on it. So over the years, you know, each eight foot section started to sag a little bit. So what we're doing is we're going back in right in the middle of the eight foot. So every four feet, there'll be a support now. So we just put this uh, center block in and we put some cribbing on top of here. And what we're doing with these bottle jacks, we're just slowly jacking up on each side. 
And this is where the laser beam comes into play. As you can see on my hand right here, uh, it is a laser level, so it does vertical and horizontal. So I have it set behind me, so it'll always keep a fixed level red line on this beam. I'm using a tape, as you can see here, we just gained by jacking it up um, about a half inch. So it was an inch out. So I'm gonna stop there at a half inch. I'm gonna sh go through and shim the rest of the beams up and see if we can get it kind of leveled. Now what we did, I cut wedges out of two by fours. Once I got it into the position I wanted or close, I just nailed these wedges under here. And there's already wedges throughout this whole beam on the supports from where this has been done before over the years. So very common with old construction. This is actually, you know, pretty decent looking for the year this house was built. So let me give you a close up on here. And so you can see we got your jack, bottle jack, some cribbing, and then we just got some cribbing on top and we just wedged it out to get it to take up the place that we gained with jacking it. All right, so we finished with that side. As y'all saw earlier, we're actually in the other side of the house under the crawl space, which luckily has a lot more room to work with. This still isn't much, but this is double what we had on the other side. Um, so I still have my spider um, net, my hair net on. <laughs> so we don't want to run into anything unwanted down here. But this side, we are going to replace this uh, horizontal flat two by four. So um, this was the original part of the house. They moved here in the 40s. And they actually do have spacing every four feet, but I think this was added later on. I think they had a 16 foot span and had no bracing underneath it. But for some reason, they put these uh, laying flat, which has no structural support. I don't know why they had plenty of room here to put them vertical, as you can see. But so what we're gonna do is put some temporary cribbing up to take the weight off this. We're gonna remove this, these two by fours, remove these shims and blocking, and we're gonna bring in our new beam uh, through a crawl space uh, vent back here. But if you want to see something cool, see how the old uh, cabin used to be. Right there, see that old beam. But, welcome to underneath, underneath an old farmhouse, people. So fun. And no, I'm just kidding. We actually do enjoy it, and I encourage everybody to get what they want and what they love and make it fun make it yours but it's been a pain in the butt but i wouldn't trade it and so we're gonna get working All right, so we got the old two by four that was um, the old support beam out of the way. It's cut and dismantled and taken off. And we have a couple of temporary supports up now on you know, about 12 inches to the right of the footings where the new beam's gonna go. You can see one here. I mean, nothing crazy. There's one back there with a jack. Use the bottle jack. There's one up front. I'm just doing half of the house at a time. So we're gonna get this beam brought in here now. And uh, that might be a little bit of a wrestling match to get that thing in. But we'll get it pulled in through our crawl space vent right back there. I gotta take the, the vent cover out. We're gonna slide the beam in through there and just go straight with it all the way to the back of the house. And we actually got two of them. So we're gonna get the first one in, which is going on the back side, which I'll do second. And then we're gonna get the second one in, which is going right here. I'll get this up on the blocks, get it all shimmed out, and get these some of these blocks kind of leveled and more secure. And then start supporting it and leveling this section of the floor. All right, so we use three two by sixes all screwed together for this project, for this beam. Um, two reasons. One, the height restrictions in the crawl space is so short, there's really nothing else we could use. And also the access to get it in the crawl space, we had to go through one of our uh, the ventilation holes. And I think it was pretty much like 
eight inches so it would have been almost impossible to get anything bigger through there so this should if you run the numbers on three two by sixes this should hold the weight perfectly uh, going vertical and should be double what we need for rating wise the beans in and you guys won't believe what I found under here <laughs> I, found, I found a helper Marilla hey what are you doing hey babe hey isn't this exciting it's so fun Alright, this is like date day. Oh, no. How do you feel right now? Mad at you. <laughs> uh, you ready to get this beam under? Yes. Why don't you sound so excited? Alright, if you're gonna find a wife, if you're looking for one, find one that'll get under your crawl space with you. It almost sound like undercovers with you. Alright guys, sorry if I'm so dirty, but um, that was awesome. We just got this beam in, and as you saw, the uh, uh, Marilla got under here and helped me with it, which was awesome. So proud of her. She was not wanting to do it at all, but it would have been impossible for me to do it by myself. <laughs> so she actually helped out, which was awesome. Definitely proud of her, but uh, yeah, so look, there, there's the new beam. <clears throat> we got it up in position, and it actually, you know, with her help, it was a lot easier not a lot easier, but it was it wasn't too bad. So now that it's up, um, we we have our still have our footings every four feet, which is perfect. And so now we're gonna get the laser beam up and get it on the beam, and then we're just gonna start jacking on each end. There shouldn't be hardly uh, any bow in this beam at all, so we should be able to get it almost level just from each end on the bottle jacks, and then we're just gonna come through every four feet on our cinder blocks and shim it up where it needs to be, and then that'll be finished. So pretty pumped about that. <laughs> So laser is set, you can see it on the beam here, it's really sloped down because we haven't jacked that other side up. So let's get on there and jack, <coughs> let's get on there and jack the other end of this beam up, see how off it is.
All right, so we finally finished up. I got the beam beam up there. I got a support every four feet. I got the laser level on there. And we went from one inch of a slope down towards the center of the house on the last support right here with the jack. And I got it raised up to where I actually took away three quarters of an inch. So now we're down to uh, about a quarter inch slope, which I will take that all day long in an old farmhouse. That is not bad at all. So I got them shimmed up. I'll show you guys the final support and the beam and we're gonna get out of this crawl space. You can see right there, I got it shimmed out. And this was the last beam right here, so I had it ball jackets loose in there. Still gotta clean up, but you can see the laser right there. Makes it so much easier doing stuff like this, but you can see the beam running all the way down. It looks good. All right, I believe it's about five o'clock, right? Let's get out of here. <laughs> All right, so that's another project complete and a big check mark off the list. We are definitely glad that one is behind us. So now for future plans. Yes, the kitchen renovation, which we're super excited to share with y'all coming up. We're going to be taking out a few walls, putting in new cabinets, new countertops. Yeah, it'll be a complete live-in <sighs> gut uh, demo and kitchen remodel. Not looking forward to that part, but... <laughs> and so we'll film it, and it should be some good videos, and it should mm -hmm. be fun. I'm going to try and organize it and get it planned as best I can so it's you know maybe a week or two out so anyway uh, we appreciate you guys watching please like and subscribe as usual uh, don't forget to hit hit the alert button so that way you get notified when we do post videos which i guess our schedule now is kind of every tuesday mm -hmm. we're trying to fall on that schedule yes um what do you think walter you That's say bye-bye say bye-bye nope nothing no. <laughs> <laughs> starting it yes i'm starting so weird hold on one second though Okay. So, stop it. Okay. So, we built this, we built this place. <laughs> Feels like we built it. Almost. <laughs> we right. bought this place. Retake. Retake. Go. <laughs> right now? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Take three. Quick. Hey, hi, Hello. Smooth. Smooth. <laughs> <laughs>